I am a targeted individual. And today, I am riding on a bicycle. Why are you riding on a bicycle without a helmet, you may ask? Because I don't have one. Um, yes, I know how serious brain injury is. Um, because I was late for an appointment that I have to go to every day. Rain or snow or sleet or hail. And uh, there was a bicycle in the hallway. I don't know whose it is or, or what, so I borrowed it. And I'm now bringing it back. And I must say, uh, several things. One, that I've been thinking about riding a bicycle for quite some time now. You know, these places we live, uh, wouldn't it be nice to be able to get there and back without having to walk like a maniac? And, uh, but I forget how physically exerting a bicycle is. And after so many years, of lying on the couch, or a bed, or a mattress, or floor, or wherever it was, that, um, uh, whoa, that, uh, and smoking, and dying from Morgellons, and, you know, all the other crap they did to us, makes, uh, physical exertion difficult. Uh, I was in pretty good shape when this started. I was, look, 20 years younger than I should even though I had these things in me for 10 years before that. And, um, God bless you, sister. Thank you for the opportunity to bless you. Um, anyway, <sighs> so much stuff goes through my mind. I wish I, wish I could share it all. Uh, some of it is, anyway, you know, I bet we all feel that way. You know, that our thoughts are so important, so deep, so <laughs> meaningful, so important, so, but actually some of them are. Some of them are given to us from outside. Uh, some of them are just the result of our own neurocognitive function and, and you know, all the stuff that we've seen and thought of and Whatever, but I believe I believe that there's way more going on in this world than, than uh, uh, such a bad camera angle that people think or notice or can see and uh, I believe that there are many influences on people that superstitious people of the past believed, but us science-based people don't believe. Bullshit. Science has figured it out, but they're not telling you. Um, yeah. Anyway, riding a bicycle has many demands on uh, yeah, I'm just babbling now, right? What I really wanted to do was sit down and tell you the whole story of what's going on, where we're at, uh, you know, how we feel, and, and all the crap that's going on, and the gang stalkers, and the this, and the that, and the blah blah blah. Uh, but since I'm riding a bicycle, anyway, I'm, I'm blessed, I'm blessed to have this opportunity to ride a bicycle. I'm blessed to have this opportunity to speak to you. I'm blessed to have a breath and legs and arms and hands and eyes and ears and, and a mouth, you know, everything, all this stuff working. And, and what am I doing with it? You know, what am I doing with this great gift that I've been given? What have I done with it? You know, right. Um, and I know that there's all kinds of, you know, I can feel the internet work to, uh, you know, all the psychiatrists and psychologists and, and physiologists and everybody else working at their stations, all <laughs> cognating and computating and planning the future of humanity, you know, 
there's so many levels to this stuff. Um, and I truly believe that television and movies are a portrayal in some degree of what's happening now and what those people plan to have happen in the future. Um, uh, so I think we can take our cue from television shows and movies that our future is not going to be a bright, shining, humanitarian future where human beings love each other and care for each other in serenity and joy through strife and you know, pain and, uh, because the way things are going, you know, I don't see it, man. I see some other things. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know. The, 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 Oh, the only way to change that is if all of us realize, if all of us awaken to the truth of what's happening, of who we are, of where we are, and what we're here for, and I think a lot of that that's been discovered has been kept secret because there are people who see value in secrets and um, you know we've built this world on, on value value judgments uh, net worth uh, future earnings uh, you know and soon it's going to be just like in the video games you know how much life force do you have left how much life energy how many foot pounds can you eat per calorie and can you lift and you know work and roll the stone up the hill uh, uh, wow anyway um babbledy 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 boo we found the money it was stuffed under the computer uh, Petra believes there were three dollars missing, but, you know, I, I don't know what to think, man. This gaslighting crap is, is, uh, it's gotten to her, it's gotten to me, and, you know, I'm, I'm willing to believe that, you know, we have brain damage, we just don't remember. We did it ourselves in a frenzy, a fury, a, a fit, a, a, a daze, a, a trance, a, you know, but... She insists, she insists, she insists, and the only way to be certain when you insist is to use scientific methods to discover the truth. And she's not willing to have that much patience and exacting certitude. certitude. Um, when I awoke this morning, because I only sleep a couple hours in fits and, and, and you know, God knows what they're doing while I sleep. And, um, I, I, I see it's it's this time of year where it's cold in the night and hot in the day, and I can't regulate my body temperature anymore, so I'm a wreck. And I look at my little phone thing, and it tells me the temperature, and I'm staring at it, going, "What does that mean?" I'm seeing numbers and and letters, and it's not meaning anything to me. It's not translating into that number means you have to put on these clothes or you know it's raining where your galoshes I, I was so completely beyond that it took me a moment to pull it back and it's, it's what really interests me is is the, the nature of the thought stream and how it interconnects and calls up other memories and thoughts as you're thinking of other things and there's just no words that can communicate at that speed. Um, there's no emotional dictate that can, you know, express, emote that range and speed of interconnected ideas and concepts. And that's why people who are really brilliant end up babbling and waving their hands around and drawing these crazy diagrams that don't mean anything to those of us who aren't 
on that level yet. And uh, that's 10 minutes.